I'll show you guys. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. So, let's hop straight into the video and see what's going on for you guys. I return to sender any type of dog magic, evil eye, spell work, anything that's sent towards me, my home, my family, and my collective's home and family. Return it immediately. Okay, we got destiny and truth that just came out. I'm not going to take it, but it just came out. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe somebody, maybe somebody is about to learn the truth about what they're actually meant to do. Mm. Let's see though. What's going on here, Spirit? What's the current message for the collective? Okay, we got awareness. Okay. We got moving on with trapped in fear at the bottom of the deck. Two eights. Eight could be significant here. Something about your eighth house could be significant. You could be a Scorpio. You could be an Aries. Mm, hold on. Let me get some more here. Let's see. What is going on here? We got transformation. Both of these cards are black. Something about the color black could be significant. Again, you could be a Scorpio here. Uh, you could be a Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or you could have Venus and Scorpio. Really, Venus, or where do you anywhere, child? You could be that sign, Ophicus. Ophicus? I'm getting Ophicus here. The 13th sign, astrology sign. 13 signs of astrology. You know, some people say there's actually 13 zodiacs. And the 13th one is supposed to be Ophicus. So, I don't know. You could be Ophicus here. Or, what's January? Something about January could be significant. January 13th. Let me see. Let's get some more. Let me get one more. Let's get one more here, Spirit. Okay, we got moving on. I just showed this to y'all. Something about August 13th could be significant. You could also be a Leo. Or, um, I forgot what other sign is in August as well. Because it's not just Leos that's born in August. I forgot what other sign is born in August. But something about August could be significant. Or again, your eighth house, your first house, whatever planet you have in the first house, whatever sign you have in the first house, whatever sign or planet you have in the eighth house. And we got death at the bottom of the deck here. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. This is basically the transformation card, 13th card in um, Tarot is the death card. And this 13 on transformation. These are basically the same cards here. You could be seeing butterflies at this time. Fun fact, child. I seen um, an orange and a white butterfly today. I have never seen a white butterfly before. But I seen a white butterfly today. O-M-fucking-G. Oh, that was so amazing. Look at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Why is, it, why is the car white on the bottom of the deck? It, it's supposed to look like, uh, it's supposed to look like this. But, okay, it, it's a doubt. I release the need to know all the answers, bring yourself out of some type of box. I don't know why I'm being told to take this. You could also be seeing white butterflies or something. I'm telling you, man, somebody is, like, you're transforming here, you're changing. Or people could have felt like you like you changed overnight here or something like that. I don't know, child. We're going to see what's going on in the energy. But I don't know. I've been told to take that car, though. We're going to clarify this doubt here last. Well, let's get into this. Let's see what, what's going on with the rest of these cards here. All right, Spirit. Let's get into it. See what's going on.
right. Clarify this awareness. What's going on with this awareness? I'm definitely. Why am I? I'm getting a nine of swords. We got the four of wands. Something about your fourth house could be significant. Something about family. Achievements here. Stability. Foundations. Some of you are becoming very aware of what it is you want in life. And with the Page of Pentacles being at the bottom of the deck, you could definitely be like getting ready to plant a seed here of what you want. What's this Four of Wands here with this awareness? The moon almost came out. Okay, shit. We got the Empress here. <laughs> it fell upright on my lap. Something about sitting pretty here. I don't know. Some of y'all are supposed to be married here. Some of you about to get married. Your intuition could be telling you this. Like something very good is about to happen for you. Some of you could be in like your queen or your king stage right now. But you about to be getting ready to sit in as the emperor or the empress. Some of you are destined to be sitting pretty or you know... I don't know what to say about the men <laughs> not sitting handsome, but y'all get what I mean. We got the Ace of Wands at the bottom. Hmm. I like this. I just keep hearing, um, I know, I know. You could be saying a lot of mantras at this time. There could be a need for you to say more mantras or affirmations. I know what I want in life. I know I'm an empress. I know I'm successful. I am successful. I am courageous. I am beautiful. I know what I deserve. I'm hearing a lot of I know, I am affirmations. Or again, like in the beginning, that destiny card came out with truth. Some of you could be destined to... Some of you are destined for this. Hmm. What's this four of wands here with the Empress? We got the five of pentacles. Something about your finances you be getting ready to change. Or there's a need for you to like, maybe you're going to have to leave a lot of people out in the cold in order to be sitting like this. What's the Five of Pentacles here specifically? Yeah, we got the Eight of Pentacles. So, I get so tired of picking up on other people's energy sometimes, child. But it, it always comes out, you know. We, there's a, we have to deal with other individuals, unfortunately, because other individuals are putting in our, are putting our way in order to disturb our path. But I'm saying here, somebody's not losing focus. If you was unfocused at one other point in time, you're not unfocused no more. You don't care about leaving people out in the cold so you can focus on your goddamn self. So we ain't going to talk about them too much. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to talk about these people <laughs> like that no more. No, you're focused here. You're focused on yourself at that. Going within. So... Whatever, child. What's the Empress here specifically? We got the King of Cups. Oh, with the High Priestess. Hmm. Who this King of Cups High Priestess? Somebody. Is this a reader? Or somebody that's very intuitive? What's the King of Cups High Priestess? Well, somebody could be manifesting you. We got the moon here. Hmm. What's this King of Cups specifically? What's the King of Cups? What's the truth? Who this King of Cups is for real? 
five of wands. It's these fucking people. <laughs> and they feelings here. Somebody's in their feelings. What's the king of cups five of wands? Why am I picking up on like this could be somebody's oh, I'm so tired of these people. This somebody's brother or uncle. I feel like this is like a you had a jealous ass masculine in your family. With the death card. Somebody got a jealous ass masculine in a family here. That's been having people, that's been gathering up people to come up and get you. Somebody literally don't want you to be here. This is fucking insane. Some of y'all got an enemy, but I feel like you know exactly who it is. You know exactly who this enemy is. You might got a lot of enemies, though. Something about this person could be a Scorpio. This person could be a Scorpio. Somebody got a Scorpio masculine in their family that absolutely despises them. What's the high priestess here specifically? Because, baby, I'm about to read this as like a lover or something, but mm -mm. that's why I ask spirit who this person is really. What's the high priestess here specifically? This person could be getting readings on you. You're the fucking magician. Somebody is getting readings on you, and they also pan a reader here with the page of pentacles at the bottom. Someone's paying a reader here. What's that calling my phone? Somebody that ain't supposed to be calling, child. Somebody could be getting ready to call you or something about you answering your call. Yeah, the truth with destiny came out in the beginning here. Is somebody mad because you answering your call? This could be like a past life enemy here. Whoever this is, it's like a past life enemy. And I'm getting it. It's a... Uh, the world just popped out. I'm going to put it back, though. Yeah, if you're, not, if you're not around people that you just deem to be not fitting for you no more, especially family. Um, yeah, these people are watching you online. They're watching you online here. And they're watching you go after your call and after your dreams here, no matter what you're doing. And someone here, like you watching tarot, right? So that means that whoever this is, they know that you into tarot. Even if you are a reader yourself, they know that you're into tarot. If you watch it, they watch it too. Maybe you don't know that they watch it, but somebody is paying a reader here. And not only are they paying a reader to dig into your life here, but they also paying somebody to do magic. But the shit not working though. It's not working. Because wherever this is, they're very unhealed. I'm telling you, the Page of Pentacles almost came out. Someone is definitely getting readings here and paying somebody to do something. And this person just taking all they got damn money, knowing damn well this shit ain't working. They need to stop it. Somebody keep be saying that you're doing magic on them. Lies. Yeah, you got a lot of people that want to put an end to something here. What's this death card here specifically? Yeah, baby, they want you, like, seriously, flat on your fucking face with the seven of swords, and this is coming out. But you could have really had somebody behind the scenes trying to off you, and you about to figure this out. Something very, ooh, we demonic is about to come out about somebody in your family with the four of swords at the bottom. Somebody wanted to put you flat on your face, seriously. I'm telling you, you you walking away is about to reveal a deep ass truth here with the Ace of Swords, the Hermit. Now, as crazy as it might as it might sound, I know some of you might not believe in past lives here, but this is like um oh damn my eye, I feel like my eye was just twitching or something. Some of you might not believe in past lives, but and then look at I spit the deck on the six of cups with the ace of swords. But this is somebody that like okay, when it comes to past lives, like these people in your family could have been anybody in the past life to you. I'm talking about they could have been they could have been your husband, they could have been your child, you could have been uh they could have been, you know, the sister and you was the brother, you know, it could in anything like that. It's something about your past life here. 
Maybe somebody needs to get a past life regression here to find out the truth about their past life. Yeah, child, why just spit the deck on the Six of Cups with the Ace of Swords? Uh, yeah, some of you need to find out about your past life here. Who you was in a past life. Okay, this is a uh, past life enemy. And this motherfucker probably been following you from lifetime to lifetime. Ain't no goddamn telling. They could be a warlock. Somebody is a warlock. And I feel like they also are part of some type of goddamn society here or something. Yeah, this some dark shit. I ain't getting no... Mm. Let me see here. Let me see something. Is this my death at the bottom of the deck? Because somebody really been trying to take you out. And they don't want you finding this out. Child, look, when I spit the deck, okay, this is about to pop out. Adversity in reverse. But I'm seeing truth. Somebody really been trying to take you out, and you about to find this out. Wow. And this person could have uh, took you out in the past life. If this person took you out in the past life, it's not going to happen this lifetime. Or maybe they just been trying to for many lifetimes. And they didn't got close to you this lifetime because they're now part of your family. What's this uh, transformation here? But no, I want to clarify this. Clarify this awareness. What about this awareness? We got foundation and achievements. Family. Something can definitely be important about your fourth house here. Family. Yeah, somebody is disturbed. Like, really disturbed in the mind here. Somebody is losing their fucking mind because you, you're starting to do better for yourself. They're losing it. Yeah, this is definitely a warning. Be careful who you uh who you reconnect with from your past, especially family, because I feel like you have a lot of enemies in your family, but it's one specific person here that's like your arch enemy, literally. And I really feel like it's a masculine in your family. It could be a feminine and king of cups energy, but I feel like it's a masculine. What's this transformation here? We got the lovers. Yeah. With the ten of cups at the bottom. What's the lovers here with transformation? We got the three of cups. Yeah, soul family. It's giving soul family. Yeah, like somebody, like you knowing that this, are, this is not really your family here. You understand how life works. Give me some more on this transformation. What about this transformation? That's why moving on is right here because you, you're walking away from people. We got throat chakra. Speaking about something. They might not want you to speak about something. Or you're finally using your voice here. Standing up for yourself. And they don't like it. What's the lovers here with the three of cups? I see the ten of cups again. We got the nine of wands. I'm telling you. Standing up for yourself. And possibly against Family. Leaving your karmic family to go find your soul family. People who really resonate with you. You know, just because it's blood don't mean it's actually family. What's this nine of wands here specifically? With the sun? I heard, I'm walking on sunshine. Yeah, somebody's sending up for their happiness here. You really are. With the seven of cups and the seven of wands. Standing up for your happiness, protecting yourself, thinking for yourself, knowing who not to be around. What's the three of cups here? With the star. Like I said, meeting your soul family and healing. Wow. With the lovers at the bottom and the six of wands. And then you got the temperance. Yes. Look, I spent the day on the Ten of Cups again. <laughs> I keep seeing the Ten of Cups. Yeah, 
Somebody here is really focused. The two of wands just came out. Somebody's really focused on themselves. And it's like, that's what you're meant to do. So, whoever don't like it, just don't like it. Okay, clarify this moving on. What about this moving on? Moving on to Palmer Waters. Peace. These people want to disturb your peace. Now, nah, somebody, somebody want to do more than uh, disturb your peace. Somebody wants you gone. I feel like this person has been feeling like this for a long time. We got the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody, if you already been planting good seeds for yourself, you about to reap your harvest here. You about to reap what you sowed. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. The King of Wands. I just seen the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. What's the Seven of Pentacles? What's the Seven of Pentacles, uh, King of Wands? We got the Nine of Pentacles. What's this King of Wands here specifically? You probably about to meet the King of Wands. We got the world. Yes, yeah, you keep moving on in your life. You're going to end up meeting the King of Wands energy. Yeah, we got the infinity symbol on here, and we got eight on the card here. What well, goes around comes back around. Like, it's somebody's turn. It's your turn on top of the wheel. That's what it's giving. What's the king of wands with the world? We got the knight of wands. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's going to be very passionate about you. Could be a Leo. What's the world specifically? The Ten of Cups. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Somebody you're going to have a whole damn family with. Yeah, we got the Knight of Cups here with the Emperor. The Empress already came out with the Four of Wands. Yes. Somebody's about to be real happy. Yeah, the damn thing this person can do about it. They've been trying, though. You better don't reconcile with nobody from your past. What's this nine of pentacles here? Because you're really about to be doing good for yourself. So stay on top of your intuition. Oh, what I say? <laughs> on top of the wheel, doing good for yourself. The nine of pentacles with the wheel of fortune. You about to reap a lot of rewards here. A lot. And it's coming in fast. Let me see what's going on with this doubt here. Let me get some more. Clarify this doubt. What about this doubt? Moving on. Almost came out again. Someone's coming out this box. People wanted to put you in a box. Again, I'm getting... Look at that. Mental conflict with empathy and regret. Somebody is regretting trying to end you here because, baby, they going through it. Somebody is really going through it here, and they're going to want you to empathize with them. Look at that, because something about to come out. So there's a secret about to come out about somebody that's been trying, that's been plotting behind your back. And they're afraid of going to jail because somebody really was plotting behind your back. And they can go to jail for whatever this was. And they're scared that you might send their ass to jail. And I'm like, I'm over here thinking like, shit, but they, they scared. They don't, mm, this person cannot foresee what's about to happen. Because they definitely be getting readings here, but they can't foresee what's about to happen. They don't know. It ain't for your ass to know either. And they ain't going to even say nothing. Let's just clarify this. What's this, uh, clarify this doubt here with this mental conflict. The crazy part is that you do see, you do like empathize to a certain point because you understand the world more than this person understand the world. But at the same time, it's like, damn, you really try to take me out? Like, damn, you, you really try to do all that to me? Shit. Try about this doubt. I because they can see you come out of a box that they don't yeah, with the Queen of Cups, this would definitely be a sibling. This could be somebody's sibling here. I'm not getting no... I ain't getting no fucking love and connection with this King and Queen of Cups coming out. This could definitely be somebody's sibling. But that could even be a thing here where... Mm, 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 I 
ain't gonna say all that. What's this Queen of Cups? I'm telling you, man. With the Page of Cups. Want you to empathize with them. They could have been trying to take you and your child out. This is crazy. With the Ace of Cups at the bottom, Six of Wands. What's this Queen of Cups, Page of Cups? With the judgment. Ooh, these people are so, somebody's so afraid of you passing judgment on them. But I feel like it's more than one person here. Like I said, I feel like it was a lot of people involved in this. What's this five of wands specifically? Let's see. Well, this could just be one person with a page of swords. Yeah, now nah, somebody afraid of somebody finding something out. I feel like this is more than one person. I feel like this is a whole bunch of childish ass people. I really do. Because somebody was really sending... They were sending death magic away. This person could have been trying to take you out physically or spiritually. Could have been both. It could definitely have been both. And that's why they ass over here going through it. What's this judgment here specifically? I'm telling you, they don't they don't know they don't know what's coming. They can't see it. With the seven of wands. But they know one thing for sure, that you ain't fucking with them no more. But they don't know what's what's to come. They don't know what's to come. That they know you're not messing with them no more. What's this page of cups here specifically? Yeah, you got so many people wanting to apologize to you. But like I said, it could be one person. But I don't know. Somebody like this, they can't do it alone. What's the page of cups? They can't do it alone. Everything is fine almost came out because somebody's afraid of going to jail. We got the food. The four stores, justice. I'm telling you, they all afraid of going to jail. I'm saying somebody sitting inside of a prison bed. In jail. This is what the judge is going to get him. If something was to go to court here. Like, let's start over, you know... Yeah, you're going to have some people wanting to start over. They, they, Yeah, I'm telling you, the Three of Swords almost came out. They want to start over here because they don't want you finding out the demonic-ass shit they've been doing behind your back. They don't want you to find it out. That's crazy. That is so crazy. Let me see. What's going on with this person or people here, Spirit? I said I was tired of picking up on their energy. I wasn't going to speak up on them or anything like that. But this is somebody that's really trying to take you out. And like if you don't mess with this person no more, they could still be trying to do this spiritually. But even though it's not going to work and you keep prospering in life, they're going to want to come back in and apologize to you and try to make amends with you and stuff because they don't want you to know the extent they've been going to try to take you out. Well, let's see. What's going on with these people or person? Whoever it is. We got moving on. And regret still at the bottom of the deck. But it fell right on top of the seven of swords. I'm telling you they don't want you figuring it out. But I feel like you are. They fucking scared. They're scared. They are so scared. They, they, just, they just know with patience you're going to figure out that you've been targeted by people for a long time. And with the yellow, I'm getting this because of your light. You've been targeted by people. And they let stuff take over them. But it just, it's deeper than that, though. Because I find this is a, literally like a past life thing here. But we got forgiveness. They're going to want your forgiveness here. But they're not going to get it. And it's all because you're standing your ground now. this moving on here what about this moving on they got they got they got to leave you alone that's nothing i'm getting here they realize they got to leave you alone with the temptation but they so tempted not to they so tempted not to because they scared about this deception and envy coming out they, they scared about their mask coming off oh somebody is really demonic here and we ain't even had a devil card to come out yet but this is like the devil card Clarify this moving on with temptation. We got the Queen of Wands. They could have. Mm. 
What's this Queen of Wands? The Four of Cups. Like you over something here. Like you don't you don't want no offers from nobody here. That's what I'm getting with this. You don't want nothing from nobody. We got the seven of cups with the double. It's like you see these people for exactly who they are. Exactly for who they are. What's this queen of wands with the four of cups? We got the hermit. What's the four of cups here specifically? We got the strength card. Somebody's standing in their power. Taking your power back. What's the hermit specifically? We got the eight of wands. And we got the devil at the bottom of the deck. Child, you might end up finding something out about this. And this is why healing is so important here. Because you might end up finding something out that make you want to... Oh, they make you want to go off on people. I'm telling you, like, I don't know why, but I'm getting this double energy being you, man. Like, you're going to be so tempted. Like, try to control yourself. As secrets start to come out about your people, man, try to control yourself because I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, I spit the deck on the five of swords. Hey, you're going to be in an energy where, baby, you're going to be pissed to find out the extent that people went here. All right, let me get a card for y'all. So really just try to focus on healing and moving forward. All right, give me a card here for this situation. Oh, wow, I've just seen this. We got Lighthouse. And then we got Sun at the bottom. I'm telling you something about your light. What I say? Lighthouse come out. Don't doubt your worth. Wow, what was that card that I pulled out? Doubt. Where is it? Yes, I was talking about the white butterflies. And that's why Spirit told me to take it. Yeah, doubt. Don't doubt your worth. Didn't I say somebody could be saying a whole bunch of affirmations? I am enough. She hanging it up on the wall. I'm telling you. Paint the sun back into your sky. You're making yourself, yeah, so you are healing here. Somebody definitely is healing. And you're healing from things that you don't even realize happen to you. Clarify this lighthouse here. Don't doubt your worth. And you're not no more. You're not doubting yourself no more. We stay your ground. You're not fucking doubting yourself no more. You're standing up for yourself. And I'm telling you, it's really bothering people here. We got death at the bottom of the deck. You are changing. You're transforming here. But I'm also getting some negative energy coming out that car, like a lot of secrets. Clarify this thing your ground here with Lighthouse. We got the tower. I'm talking about finding out something so shocking. But it's also shocking to people that you are moving forward here. And that you're not being in some type of energy they want you to be in. Like you winning some, you winning a tit for tat war. Like, like, people really want you to go back and forth with them here, but you're not. You're not matching energy. No. You're not matching energy. And it's making them devastated here because they need you to match energy. They need you to match energy. Clarify the tower. Somebody about to go through a tower moment. And it ain't gonna be you. We got the Knight of Swords with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, man. Somebody, they, 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 child. Mm -mm. What's the tower with the Knight of Swords? All I gotta say is, mm -mm. well, they'll learn a lesson with the Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, some type of truth about to come out here. What's this Ace of Swords specifically? And it's gonna be very disturbing with the Page of Pentacles. And I feel like it has, it does have something to do with magic here. It does. With the King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. What's the Knight of Swords? We got the Eight of Swords with the Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody afraid of going to jail. Like this is this is the this is the police officer haul, hauling somebody off to jail. Cause that's exactly what I'm getting here. Like you're gonna be living a happy life here with your emperor. 
That might be a lot of people to fucking go to jail. I'm, I'm getting like a, a tough love type of energy. All right, let me read this uh, lighthouse. Number 20. 20 could be significant. Something about when you was 20 could be significant here as well. Like all this could have started when you was 20 years old. I'm getting there for some of y'all. There will always be someone in your life who doubts the amazing things you're capable of. It is then that you must decide to be your biggest champion. Believe wholeheartedly in your own worth, regardless of outside opinion. Feed yourself a steady diet that speaks to self-love, self-kindness, and self-confidence. Yes. Mm-hmm. So when in doubt, when you feel discouraged, go to your affirmations here. Speak love into yourself. Speak light into yourself. Build yourself up. Build up your confidence here. Make a playlist full of songs that help you build your confidence. You know, listen to affirmations in the morning, at night, while you're sleeping. Don't let nothing shake you because somebody is trying to shake you energetically here. But they're not, I don't, I find they're not able to do it though. You're like, you are way stronger than somebody here. And they, they starting to realize that too. Way stronger than them. I'm saying somebody else is fucking scared. But they should be, you know, it's the lesson. It's the lesson. Even if the, uh, even if they end up in spiritual jail or physical jail, it's the lesson. Because, like, why would you go to that extent trying to harm somebody? Especially if you're trying to do it physically. I, I'm like, I don't like it. I don't like the spiritual attacks either. But I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I find it way more disturbing when it's a physical thing. Like, somebody trying to take you out physically over them trying to take you out spiritually. I know, like, other people may feel indifferent about it. And that's okay. You know, everybody is not meant to have the same opinion. But I feel like it's 10 times worse than when they're trying to take you out physically. I really do feel. I, I feel like it's, it's 10 times worse. It is. Because you'll be sitting right there in somebody's face and the whole time you plotting on them like a motherfucker. But like I say, it is like a... If you understand life... And not necessarily understand life the way I understand it, but if you just understand life on a deeper level, then you will also see why this is happening or why it happens. You know, because for some of you, this is definitely a past life type of thing, but it don't have to be no past life type of thing. It could just be a thing here where somebody just hating on you so fucking bad that they want to take you out. They just don't want to see you here. Say you see you here no more. You know, regardless of how it is, it is messed up. But I really feel like if something happened physically, I really do. I'm telling you, man. I'm seeing the moon, the magician, and the death car sitting right here next to each other. I want to get a card for this. I'm about to uh, close it out, but let me get a card for that. What's this death card here with the child? Why would great? I'm t what I say? What I say? Somebody asked here. I don't give a damn how it was. It could have been just spiritually or all to stop you from going towards your purpose, though. All to stop you from walking in your calling. Somebody else is so fucking scared of going to jail. They regret whatever they did to you in the past. This is something that happened in the past. But like I said, oh, wow. Thank you, spirit. It could have been something that happened in a past life. And in this lifetime, they're meant to pay for whatever they did in the past life. Not everybody know about stuff they did in the past life. Everybody don't know about it. Some people don't even believe in past lives. But if you believe in past life, for some of you, somebody took you out in a past life. And in this lifetime, they're meant to go to jail for it because they possibly tried to do it again in this life. But if they didn't try to do it again in this life, they still meant to pay for it if they did it in a past life. But maybe they did try to do it again in this life. And they definitely going to fucking jail. Well, well like I said, spiritual jail or physical jail, it don't fucking matter. It don't matter. But this is their lesson for their soul. This is a soul lesson. It ain't got shit to do with their human nature. Okay? You can't look at stuff like this from a human standpoint. You got to look at it from a spiritual standpoint. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and close it out right there. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Mwah.